Now I've broken the world map down by states and provinces in a lot of games in the past, but never in the World War Simulator. I don't even think you're supposed to be able to do something like this. It might be kind of hard to have a world war when territories are broken down into very small pieces. It's like we've brought back the Holy Roman Empire here in the middle of Europe, as well as the United Kingdom is not so united anymore. All the islands are now individual as well. The biggest thing that I'm hoping for is just that I'm going to be able to pronounce the winner here. If it's someplace in India, I'm definitely screwed. Wars and alliances are on. Revolts are obviously off or else we'll never see a winner here. Also, I've maxed out the alliance size to seven members. So that's what's going to make this real crazy. Now, there's actually going to be only a couple of territories that are going to be able to colonize the sea zones. We actually have a new front in the Atlantic between Portugal and Newfoundland and Labrador. The first alliances are beginning Moscow and Lithuania, Guyana and Venezuela. I'm going to casually uh, skip over some of the ones that I can't pronounce. Ethiopia has already conquered Djibouti. They're also at war with Yemen though. Meanwhile, Mongolia has been destroyed, but don't worry, there's still inner Mongolia. Nothing too crazy out of the states just yet. No real alliances or anything. It's very peaceful. And as soon as I say that, um, KFC land has died. There's actually a ton of notifications are going on. I can't even keep up. Probably should have checked this sooner, but the biggest nations on earth, uh, the two top ones happen to be both in Russia, which shouldn't be surprising. Russia is the biggest country by surface area, and it's going to be pretty obvious that their provinces will be pretty giant as well. Greenland is number three though, and then Nunavut is four out of Canada. A little war going on between Algeria and Morocco. Another statistic we can check is gold or economy. Again, the Russians seem to be leading that in the very beginning as well. Actually, all of the Russians. Quebec is in fourth place though. The Angolia alliance happens to be the biggest on earth. It's just a combination of Angola and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Netherlands are out here conquering some stuff. Wow, I can't even tell what is going on in Europe right now. I know that money is taking up though. Pretty peaceful here in in Oceania. None of the Australian states have gone to war just yet, and there's no alliances either. Also, New Zealand has been divided into the South and Northern Island. Nova Scotia was destroyed by Prince Edward Island. That's a new one. Or sorry, vice versa. Prince Edward Island was destroyed by Nova Scotia. I was gonna say, they're right there. What do you mean? And Ireland has united their island once again, or at least they almost have. Scotland still has actually a piece of it, but they're allied, so maybe they kind of basically got it back. Very same time, England and Wales are allied, so there seems to already be a rivalry brewing in the British Isles. There are so many alliances forming. Maybe I shouldn't have maxed it out at seven. Florida has destroyed the Bahamas. Also, Florida is cool with Louisiana. What happened to Louisiana's borders? These things are ugly. The smallest state of Rhode Island has been conquered by Connecticut, and California has conquered Baja, California. They're also at war with Arizona. I don't know what Georgia we're talking about. Georgia took over a little bit of land, too. Everything's starting to kind of ramp up a little bit. We have the classic La Plata alliance with Argentina and Chile. And what the hell is going on in the Korean Peninsula? This this is a strange one. I thought for a second Oklahoma has lost their panhandle. Nope, it is just a single pixel long, and New Mexico is pushing straight through it. They're driving. Belarus was just conquered by Moscow. The Moscow capital province of Russia is getting pretty thick. Also, we have Taiwan taking back Chinese mainland. Oh no, the war is already broken out in the British Isles. It's Scotland versus England and Wales. They took out- Oh, Wales is dead. The classic rivalry. Oh, and right there, Scotland's gone. Wow, that's gonna actually improve Norway and Iceland's position. Arkansas was conquered by Missouri, and Thailand has grown quite a bit here in Southeast Asia. Oh, Vietnam is gone. It's actually just Laos here. Indonesia has been broken down as well pretty deep. The new biggest alliance on Earth is just because Greenland is a part of it, the Greenland Alliance. In terms of land area, this Siberian state is still number one by far. Of course, none of that stuff really matters in this game. That is only a small portion of who's actually going to win. I've seen some crazy dubs get pulled out in the World War Simulator. Portugal's looking pretty good as they slowly won by one one begin to conquer states in Spain. Croatia has also been conquered by Bosnia. They now are fully in control of that Adriatic Sea. You know they've been wanting that for a while. Denmark was destroyed by Hamburg. We've got a Hamburg up here. Not Hamburger. Don't get too excited Americans. Egypt and Jerusalem on a team as they fight Syria. Jerusalem is very close to being conquered though. Lots of chaos happening here in Mexico. It's really hard to tell what's going on. Ooh, Manitoba fighting Sas uh, Sasquatchin and Montana. I'm going to just pretend like I said that perfectly. No, San Marino was destroyed. I'm guessing San Marino was literally one pixel long. Well, if Andorra is, it looks like they have like five pixels and the Vatican has three. So maybe San Marino had four. What a powerhouse. Sri Lanka also getting some uh, South Asian mainland territory. Iowa was just conquered by Missouri. They're also still at war with Nebraska. Although I don't think they have a direct front right here because Minnesota's weird borders. Texas now going after their big rival, of course, and Oklahoma's gone. Those 50 state borders starting to look 
really ugly now. It's only going to get worse too. Nothing much out of the Caribbean, but uh, naval invasions really aren't a problem for the AI at all in this game. It's only a matter of time. Portugal had a pretty epic World War simulator game uh, last time. Uh, let's see if they can do it again. They allied to Madrid. Ethiopia is getting extremely big as they, yep, they're taking Sudan as well. Texas has begun to turn it on, although Mississippi got uh, most out. Oh, Mississippi's about to die. Okay, my birth state of Alabama looking pretty good as they continue to fight Texas. Economy-wise, they're actually very similar. Problem is that Texas's capital is right here in the center. If Alabama gets backstabbed by Georgia, they're going to be in trouble. New Hampshire conquered by Vermont, and now I don't even really know what's going on. We have Quebec coming on down. Nunavut, one of the biggest starting states, already eliminated. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know DC was in the game. DC just got conquered, and there they were. That's cool that even DC was a part of it. South Dakota destroyed Nebraska, and Florida has taken out Cuba. Always like to see Brittany, France do pretty okay, although England is probably going to start eating people. England is allied to just the Netherlands right now. Big old Moscow. They were going after Finnish territory, but now they've pieced out. I think the big island in Japan took back this smaller island. That's so far the only thing. Uh, there's a lot of wars going on. I'm sure this is really ca casualty heavy. It's East Asia, so I'm, I'm assuming millions and millions of people are perishing. Meanwhile, constant wars are breaking out in Europe. Again, nothing new to be expected there. Catalonia was destroyed by Aragon. The problem is Portugal's taking over everyone. West Virginia looks like they're fighting a huge... They were fighting at least three different states. Now they're trying to push back uh, Virginia and North Carolina. Kind of have a Persian Empire forming a little bit. We'll see if they... up. Oh, they took out Iran. Wait, that was Iraq. Sorry, they are Iran. Norway has conquered England. There will not be a second revival of the British Empire here. Also, very, very huge Argentina. This alliance is working well together. See, the problem when you break down the world map into, like, the North American states with Mexico and Canada included, the U.S. states, they get attacked from all sides, and they really struggle, especially the small ones in the Northeast. We have Washington taking out Oregon. They're trying to move into, uh, wow, that's a pretty big alliance, but the Northwest Territories just pushed them back, and Inner Mongolia getting slightly bigger. You gotta watch them. The heck, Bosnia and Serbia just straight up united. I forgot that that's gonna happen. So there's actually a really nice Balkan Empire happening. Never thought I'd see that. And there goes Florida. Georgia's been conquered by Florida. Did Georgia just take out somebody else too? I think that was South Carolina. Tennessee's looking very big as they've expanded down into the deep south. Was oh, Texas gone too? Texas is gone. I thought we were gonna see like the 12th or 15th game where Texas just rolls over everybody. Not this time though. I think it might be Argentina, at least in the Western Hemisphere. Look how huge they're looking. At the moment, uh, it is still these two states and then Greenland, but the Northwest Territories have kind of caught up and now Argentina is in fifth. Meanwhile, alliance-wise, this Uzbekistan coalition, massive, absolutely massive. And it's only going to get bigger. There's another alliance uh, over here, though. The fourth big alliance is the Montana Alliance with Washington, Alberta, South Dakota, and Alaska. I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm just going to say cool and move on. Missouri now taking on Wisconsin and Minnesota at the very same time. Man, these borders are getting ugly in North America. And oh my goodness, I thought we were going to see the fourth biggest nation drop right there. Moscow just conquered Estonia. They've taken a lot of the Baltics back. What the heck was that? What was that all about? I saw some flying. Did they get nuked? Saudi Arabia destroyed Qatar here, and they're they're slowly taking back their peninsula. Finally, something very small is happening in Oceania. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say that small, because uh, the South Island's taking over the North Island in New Zealand. Missouri took out Kansas, again, making the borders even worse. Oh, man, that whole alliance is now fighting Nevada, although they've pieced out, so things are okay for now. Ooh, look at the Philippines go. The Philippines slowly expanding into Indonesian territory. Romania just conquered uh, Serbia, so I guess we won't, won't necessarily see a Balkan uh, empire here. I thought we were going to for a second. Oh, Poland might default to Ukraine. Poland and Moscow are allied. What is happening? I cannot believe Wyoming, of all states, is still alive. How is this going on? I would love to see Wyoming win. Can you imagine the memes out of that? But since I addressed it, it will definitely not happen now. Zambia has the island of Madagascar. Lots of alliances forming here. Yeah, some of these alliances are going to have to start to break. This is where AIs are going to have to make some really tough decisions because if you want to keep expanding, you can't necessarily be friends with everybody. Norway is friends with Iceland and their uh, island up here that they also have in real life. Uganda finally took out the threat out of Ethiopia. Oh my goodness, did we just see the fall of Egypt too? Oh, Saudi Arabia is allied to Iran. That might be the reason why they're pretty good right now. India has been divided by maybe four or five states. Oh my goodness, it's still chaos though. And slowly China is somewhat uniting. I love that, oh my, oh, inner Mongolia. How'd you get yourself in this mess? We'll see. Oh, well, the biggest... Oh, you know what? Vlad... Uh, Vladigask... 
stock, is that how you say that? Uh, they're really safe here in the corner, that capital is at least, unless North Korea maybe backstabs them. Pakistan looking very big as they move into India's territory as well as partially into Afghanistan. Oh my goodness, huge war in Europe. Uh, it's now mostly Netherland territory in England and uh, that's because Norway's been killed. It's now Brandenburg that has this. Lots of uh, gold is happening. A lot of people establishing cores. Love that Jamaica's still doing pretty- Oh wait, Jamaica actually has mainland US territory. How'd that happen? Also, Argentina getting massive again. Argentina might begin to roll over everything up here unless like a strong power comes out of it. Oh, this is a pretty big coalition against Argentina though. Argentina only has uh, Chile as a friend. Yeah, there's actually two big alliances trying to stop and negate the power of Argentina. Argentina does have the Falkland Islands, by the way. I guess England's not here to see it, so it's all right. Portugal's been very slow. I thought they would have expanded more into Iberia by now. I guess they're focused more on North America. Cyprus also making big moves inside of modern day Turkey. Oh, look at thick Uganda. Thick Uganda is pushing single-handedly into the Congo. California was destroyed by Washington. Now Washington's going after Wyoming. And Michigan was destroyed by West Virginia. Whoa, look at that alliance. North Korea is gone. South Korea is living on the... I think South Korea might have backstabbed North Korea. Oh man, that's cold. Now they're moving into Chinese territory. There's a pretty big Chinese power out of Yunnan. Romania is huge. And man, do they have some friends. Oh, so they worked it out. Ukraine, Poland, Moscow. That's a big team right there. Wow, Portugal has actually been destroyed. These these islands. What's that called? But, but there's a big city right here that everyone goes to but something big party city uh well the partying is taking over iberia i guess uh abiza something abiza love this jamaica look at jamaica form kind of like the golden circle they have the deep south of the usa all of florida a lot of cuba and even the yucatan peninsula i really like this empire i don't know if they're gonna be able to survive because they're facing all these states but their capital is pretty safe in jamaica and they're allied to haiti for now there's only a couple of u.s states left it's really just washington wyoming new mexico wisconsin uh west virginia north carolina virginia and new york i think it'd be said for the Canadian Canadian provinces as well though. There's just Ontario, Alberta, oh Alaska, I forgot that, and then Northwest Territories. Greenland is still here. Greenland is still big. Not as big as Argentina. I guess those coalitions really aren't enough, especially when they're being, uh, I guess the coalitions are backstabbing each other. We have Thailand uniting Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, biggest nations on Earth again come out of Siberia, and now Argentina is in third. Uh, Greenland's fallen to fourth place. Meanwhile, this massive thing right here happens to be the biggest world alliance for now, but that we've seen a lot of backstabbing in the teams, so probably only a matter of time. Again, I think those alliances kind of slow a lot of the AIs down. Look at Ontario get so much new land. Okay, Ontario has to be in the top 10 now. They are massive, and they have some U.S. state friends, Wisconsin, West Virginia, and regular Virginia. I don't know what else to call them. They're just regular Virginia. Will it be enough, though, to compete against Argentina as Argentina possibly takes down even more in South America? Oh, Ontario's going after Greenland. Yeah, that's there's a lot of land up there for you to take. The Netherlands still controls all of the British Isles for now. They have no friends, though. I'm guessing Sri Lanka is probably going to take over all of India unless, like, Pakistan causes some problems. Uganda's still going. So is Saudi Arabia. Ooh, look at, look at Thailand. Oh, Thailand is dangerously close to taking over. They got to take it. I, I think it's going to happen. Oh, they moved it. They they're big enough where they can now move capitals, but that might not be enough to survive. They survived. They somehow survived, but they lost so much territory out of that. And now the New Zealand South Island do not count out, again, because they're in the corner of the map, uh, New Zealand's going to be really good here. It depends on how big they can really get. Sometimes the AI kind of locks himself into a bad alliance and then, oh, is Greenland dead? Greenland is not dead, but look at how much Iceland's taken away from them. The Breaking Bad Empire is slowly taking over the heart of North America. Ukraine has conquered even more land. They haven't taken out Cyprus yet who has now a majority of Turkey, I think. Man, look at Washington go in the Pacific. They might even take out Baja, California here soon. Okay, wait, this alliance still survives from Colombia, Venezuela, and uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is a Brazilian state, I believe. The problem is Argentina is just going to try to move into Africa now. They might have a lot of problems in Africa, though. There's some giant nations over here. Actually, a huge team, at least here. Is this the collapse of Wyoming? They were fighting a dual alliance, but they are friends with New Mexico. New Mexico's facing some Mexican states down this way, though. New Mexico's battling to be the only Mexican Mexico. Yeah, what what is this? I don't know. Is there's like economic sanctions that are I don't know seeing like flying asteroids Ooh, maybe Thailand is not going to take over all of China. I forgot how quickly things can change economically They're looking so good and these guys aren't but it doesn't matter the northern territory out of uh, Australia is surviving in the island of Guinea but they're slowly being eaten by the South. Oh, wait, who is this? New Catalonia? Caledonia. Caledo New Cal 
Uh, how do you say this again? Regardless, Argentina has taken over almost all of Brazil. Where did Lombardi come from? Lombardi is taking, whoa, okay, and then Brandenburg is fighting, Brandenburg just destroyed the Netherlands and destroyed Iceland at the very same time. Is Lombardi gonna single-handedly take out this huge Eastern European alliance? Look how huge Angola's been getting down here. Argentina is actually the number one nation in terms of land area in the world. We'll see if that survives. Angola's catching up though. Oh, look at this, the Ivory Coast pushing into South America. They got a little foothold. Jamaica now taking out Honduras, getting more of Central America. Problem is they're facing a threat out of Virginia up here. Just as I say that, they became friends, and at the very same time, uh, Jamaica is almost going to die. Colombia has started their, uh, restarted a like a Bolivar's empire. It looks something similar to that. Brandenburg and, okay, as soon as I say Lombardi, they have already been eliminated somehow. And these Spanish islands are looking pretty good. They've got some nice friends too. Moscow supported Ukraine with 5,000 gold. This is just getting strange. Problem is Ukraine is fighting multiple fronts. Now they're not, they're now fighting Cyprus. There's a massive Middle Eastern team that's formed. South Africa randomly is allied to the Ivory Coast up here, Mauritania. Usually the alliances don't go that far. Wow, is this the fall of Angola? It was for a moment but they've kind of they've stabled out a little bit Pakistan has taken over a lot of the western side of India but there oh Sri Lanka's also gone too don't collapse Philippines you're almost there Philippines just keep it together you're you're safe Taiwan's keeping your border up here safe New Mexico's trying to hold on so is Wyoming they're still friends the problem is the Northwest Territory have taken out Washington and they're looking huge up here those nations that can take out and and kind of hide in the corner of the world map they do really well so there goes Wyoming well now the Northwest Territories what are you gonna do I guess you have to to go after Greenland. Big old South African nation here. Oh, New Mexico just united with the, wow, so New Mexico's like, I'm not gonna die, I'm gonna just unite with the enemy. So maybe the Northwest Territories can somewhat fight off Argentina? Armenia just joined Operation Pakistan. Um, is this a alliance to stop Pakistan? That's a, yeah, I, I think so, or at least stop the alliance of Pakistan. Yanin did end up taking a lot of Southeast Asia, but not so much China, that's mostly controlled by Taiwan. Taiwan has taken back a lot of China. Also Japan, that's interesting. I don't think there's anyone in the Western Hemisphere that's going to be able to compete with the Northwest Territories and Argentina. The best thing they can do is just kind of slow down these enemies. I mean, Ontario's doing okay, and they've tried their best to ally with literally everyone they can, and we're going to see. You never know, but okay, well, they're they're losing a ton of territory. Maybe it's going to go into like a little bit of a back and forth. It is possible that this, that's crazy. The AI is pretty smart to try to get all these teams. Maybe you should just ally to Virginia just to keep it safe. You, you need all the alliances you can get. Oh yeah, now they're actually trying to take out Virginia. Virginia, somehow, they they just, they pulled a fast one. Jamaica's now going to attempt to take over Virginia. Jamaica's now allied to the Northwest Territories, though. Interesting alliance that South Africa has. They are allied to Mauritania, who actually controls Newfoundland in this world. The richest nation on Earth is actually Jamaica, by far, and then it is the Northwest Territories. I don't know how Virginia's pushing so deep into the Northwest Territories, but they're not able to push into Jamaica at all. You know, for this nation being nicely positioned in the corner of the world map, um, yeah, this Siber Siberian province hasn't done much for Russia. They've had some really nice alliances. Maybe they're just relying on the alliances. Oh my goodness, huge fall. Oh, it was Moscow that finally died. We now have these Spanish islands taking over most of Western Europe, as well as this part too. How'd you get over there? Ukraine is trying to avenge their friend. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what happens. I, it's, it's okay. They're going to get some territory. We'll see if Iran goes after Ukraine pretty soon. Um, no. Oh my goodness. Ukraine almost died right there, but now the Spanish islands have gotten themselves into another war, this time with Greenland. You better hope that um, these guys don't come after you. These guys are really powerful. You also need some friends. Libya is not going to be enough. Pakistan has been banished. These are familiar borders. Pakistan kind of went back to their east and west Pakistan sort of thing, except it's with Sri Lanka. Oh, finally is... Have they finally been taken out? We have Argentina allying to uh, Colombia because they had to because Guerrero, the Mexican state, was... I don't know. They're doing something in Central America. Biggest alliance is now the... Oh, it's the Colmillas uh, alliance, right? here. I was going to say it used to be Chile's alliance, which is pretty much single-handedly held by, oh, by Argentina. So it's funny that they're not using Argentina's name. Again, these alliances are changing on the daily, though. I guess I should say yearly. We're ticking up by year. Oh my goodness, Virginia, dangerously close to falling, but not yet. Finally, we have the big wars between Northwest Territories and Argentina. They're actually allied to Virginia. They're trying their best to keep Virginia alive in North America. Argentina has had a lot of problems trying to push into Africa. They haven't been able to do it. Also, look at New South Wales go. New South 
Wales looking amazing. All of Australia, they somehow took out the South Island in New Zealand. A lot of Indonesia. Uh, pa the Philippines are almost destroyed. Look at this massive alliance going on. Novgorod, Iran, Pakistan, Yunnan. That doesn't even seem fair. And they're all fighting Taiwan. They might be able to make the jump right here. Is Taiwan done? They have lost their capital. They've now moved it to Korea, though. The way the alliance maps are looking, there's pretty much going to be like two or three big teams by the end of this, I think. Wow, look at that one. Argentina is starting to feel some heat. Also, I think Argentina and Chile, they had to have, uh, they had to have united because they were friends for this whole time. Ivory Coast causing Argentina some problems, but Argentina is slowly pushing out the Northwest Territories. Virginia is still going somehow, and Argentina has got to be the big one that's supporting them. The Balearic Islands out of Spain has most of Europe under their control. This is insane. They also have some colonies in uh, Africa, although they are getting pushed out by Uganda a little bit. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check out the overall alliance map mode, which just kind of puts everyone into their own colors and teams. There's kind of this African alliance going on. There's this purple Central Asian one that has parts of Africa too. I don't even know what's happening in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, well, there you go. These islands allied to Virginia and Argentina. So this is getting big. Taiwan has now been banished to Japan and the Korean Peninsula. Virginia, whose continual support by Argentina is now bigger than ever. They're actually pushing very close to those Northwest Territory capital city. Again, they've had to fight this. Oh, but the thing, oh, that, uh oh, uh oh, they might lose a lot right here. Oh, or will Jamaica die? Jamaica's very close. The world has been divided by five factions right now. This quite literally is a world war simulator at this point. And now the Northwest Territory has switched teams. They've left Greenland on their own. Poor Greenland. They literally have no friends right now. Luckily, the Spanish Islands are trying their best to take on these. Oh my gosh, this huge team. Virginia just united with Argentina. Well, they had similar colors in that alliance. So Argentina just picked up half. They pretty much did their own Louisiana purchase. I guess it was a Virginia purchase. Uh, yeah, so those asteroids are actually nations supporting other nations with gold. So it's like a whole Cold War situation playing out. So Sometimes. Oh my goodness, Is are these islands finally going to fall? They, they're losing land so fast. They've pieced out for now. Is it really going to be Mauritania that takes them over? Pretty genius move. They lost their capital on these islands, but they moved it to uh, Sardinia. Almost said Corsica. Big uniting happening. Uh, I guess Pakistan joined this Chinese province over here. Yunnan is trying to be the only Chinese province though. Money is getting thrown around left and right right now. There's legitimately a cold war going on. Ivory Coast really trying to support South Africa because of course they're friends. The problem is uh, New South Wales is pushing into Madagascar. Argentina still holds huge foothold, a huge footprint in North, Carol uh, North Carolina, North America, in North Carolina as well, though. And as soon as I say that, Argentina just lost a ton of stuff. Uh, I think these Spanish islands are going down any second. Although they have so much of Russia, they still have a lot of territory they can, like, move back on. Ivory Coast and Mauritania just united. So the Ivory Coast looking massive here in Africa. Will they now finally be able to take out Argentina that's way down here? Buenos Aires, they're getting so close. This literally is 1984. Yunnan very close to losing their capital and there is literally five nations remaining. The Northwest Territories still have their capital here. Wow, they do not have a lot of money. That cannot be good. Ivory Coast almost has a million on the other hand, but they're kind of distracted by New South Wales. Meanwhile, the Spanish Islands now have been hiding in Greece right here in the middle. That's pretty smart. And the world has been split into two teams. Maybe this is why uh, Northwest Territories have very little money. They're literally trying to give it all to the Ivory Coast since they're straight on the front lines. I mean, these guys can't even do anything thing. They are giving all their money away. They are not on the front lines. They have to do this. They have no other option. Okay, now they've literally just united. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And a second unification has happened. Uh, New South Wales has allied to the Spanish Islands. I think just based off territory alone, it's going to be obvious who wins here. Or actually, maybe not. Um, what's happening? The Ivory Coast have taken the lead as the number one nation in terms of territory. They would go all the way back and hide them in the uh, Papua New Guinea territory. And there you have it. The Ivory Coast was sick of being confused with the Irish flag that they just had to conquer the world, I guess. Now no one will ever make this mistake again. And big thanks to my patrons. Oh, this is the real Drew. I was kidnapped and that's the Drew's imposter. Argentinian the slow, grandpa. depressing Portugal Ching and ching and ching and ching and ching. Right in the West. $20 is a lot. John, John, Drew. Drew. John, 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 John,